We went to the Philippines because it was the only place that gave us a visa. We were the last train out of Berlin. They, they closed the border. We were able to go to the Philippines and escape that. At that time, we were really free. Going back to the darkest history of all time, in the beginning of 1933, the Hitler and Nazis regime began. Nazis propaganda represent Jews as their traitors, killers, and enemy. Thousands and hundreds synagogues were burned, businesses were closed, and Jewish families started to pack up their belongings, trying to escape the horrible situations that they had during that time. All Jewish homes were invaded. But many countries don't welcome the Jews to their nation until one nation opened its door and welcomed the Jews. Thousands of people attended a rally in Manila saying that Hitler violated the inherent right of every man to freedom, life, and the pursuit of their happiness. Manuel L. Quezon was the president of the Philippines at that time and he's willing to accept the Jews and question why the other countries did not. Other countries perhaps did not think it that important. I, I don't presume to say. But I know that dad had the moral courage to do it because he believed in the sanctity of human life and the right of people to live life as they believe they should. During those times, the Frieder's brother, who owned businesses in the Philippines and also a Jew, talked to Manuel Quezon and asked whether they could allow their fellow Jews into our country. And his reply was simple. He said, As a Christian, how could I reject the people who are the same ancestors of our Lord Jesus Christ? Gusto ko po siyang i-translate sa Tagalog which is sabi dito, Paano ko ba hindi matatanggihan ang kalahi ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo? And to that response, the planning of request for permits started. He even fled for 10,000 Jews to come in the Philippines but during that time, Philippines is under the US government but he never gave up. At the end, Philippines rescued 1,200 Jews by the lead of the late President Quezon and he even offered his personal property in Marikina. And lastly, the Philippines was the only Asian country who voted and supported the creation of the State of Israel. I know that many of us doesn't like history, but this kind of story from the past and these people that passed away and those times that has gone, it leaves us a remarkable learning up to the present time. And para po sa kaalaman ng nakararami, we also have monument here of the Philippines in Reunion Nation, which represents the compassion and the bravery of the Philippines to the Jewish people who, in time of need, we open our doors to welcome them. We Filipino continue to reap the fruit of extend help toward the Jews. As a matter of fact, we are. Visa access free here in Israel. So for those of you who want to travel in Israel, visa free po tayo dito. You don't have to apply for Shenzhen visa. And you are allowed to stay here for 90 days. So you can travel the whole land. And we have also growing population here of Filipinos in Israel. We're about almost 31,000 lamang naman po. So ganun na lang po yung pag-welcome sa atin ng mga Israeli. Also practice our civil rights and diplomatic values. In here, uh, malaya po kami nakakapagsimba, malaya po kami nakakapagsuot ng mga nais namin isuot, malaya po kami magsalita ng nais namin sabihin. So, it's a very diplomatic country and I think Israel and Philippines share this kind of common values. Okay! So, that's it for today. Thank you so much and I hope na may learning ka na natutunan sa vlog ko for today. And I also ask you to help me and support me in prayers for all the nations and especially also to my country and Israel that this relationship that they have will continue to prosper and uh, be blessed. Thank you! Don't forget to subscribe and hit like and if also you want to share, please share it.